Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar, the GFS, the GM, the ECMDF, the GFS and ECMDF ensembles and we'll finish up having a look at the UK Met Office run looking at the 5 day precipitation and temperature. Now we've had pretty rainy last few days but it does look like high pressure will be taking back control and turning things colder as we head towards the weekend <clears throat> and as we head towards next working week now the models are still very indecisive over whether we're going to be seeing a really chilly perhaps wintry easterly wind or whether it's just going to be settling down overnight frosts before the westerlies take back over we're still seeing a lot of uncertainty within the models but it does look like we will be seeing at least a few days of colder than average conditions whether it does get very cold and snowy that is still yet to be determined so remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and remember to follow on Twitter as well, the links in the description. So we do have a look at the live radar at the moment, you can see we have bands of rain pushing up northwards from the southwest, and they are quite fragmented, heavy in places, but the majority is steady to light rain, um, and it's because it's coming up against the higher pressure that is building to our north and our northeast, which is going to be starting to bring in an easterly flow. And the weather fronts are moving very, very slowly because of this high pressure block, not allowing it to progress further northwards and eastwards like they generally do um, with westerly flow. Um, so these areas under the precipitation and cloud, it's going to be pretty miserable and it will continue over the coming hours. However, towards the weekend, high pressure does start to take control like properly take control and we do start to see much drier conditions for all and then once that flow starts to come in from the east we could start to see some wintriness perhaps in the east and perhaps especially the southeast east anglia and southeast england could be the best zones for seeing any wintry showers over the next five days as we'll have a look with the uk metaverse run at the end of the video so we do now have a look at the gfs run see what is happening over the next uh, sort of 14 days now you can see that high pressure building up to our north and our east and those weather fronts pushing in from the west are getting stalled by this high pressure system and the high pressure really does build in and we start to bring in an easterly flow by sunday and as i said the high pressure centre further northwards means the coldest air will be in the south and the southeast now the gfs has been varying with its uh, severity of this easterly wind over the last uh, couple days and today it doesn't go too cold actually we do see that block bringing bitterly cold air to eastern europe and southeast europe but that cold air never gets towards the uk and instead we just see it block um the low pressure on the atlantic just stalling weather fronts over the top of the uk giving us quite a drab um sort of feeling even though the upper air temperatures are quite mild it still would be pretty chilly um and this sort of pattern is down to very fine margins the gfs today is backtracking from that easterly or proper easterly wind it does have cold air for a couple days but nothing sustained before right towards the end of the run we continually see low pressure running off the atlantic but we still have a bit of a blocked look. If you look to our north, we still have high pressure over the pole towards Svalbard, and these blues are all separated. And right towards the end of the run, we do see a bit of high pressure trying to build towards Iceland, trying to pull in a bit of an easterly flow. So the GFS is still showing blocking patterns generally, but it's not showing anything too extreme, uh, as we have seen over the last couple of days. But as we'll see with the GM and the, G, uh, and the Eastern OEF in a minute, there are varying scenarios so gfs has backtracked definitely but it's uh there are still many runs going much colder so as ever with this sort of pattern it is still very very uncertain so we do now have a look at the gm run see how that does compare he's at high pressure building up to our north and our east we do start to build an, an easterly flow we get very very close to pulling in basically cold air that's just to our east in germany Italy over the Alps and it doesn't quite get our way very very subtle shifts would bring that much colder Arctic air towards the UK but instead we go into a westerly flow with that high pressure just staying over Europe and the tropospheric polar vortex really coming back um, strong so similar outcome to the GFS run but very very close to getting that easterly wind in but not quite making it and in the longer term completely destroying that Scandinavian high and we just go flat westerly very unsettled not particularly pleasant really for March it would be mild 
wet and windy and you couldn't rule out under these little kinks in the jet stream potentially seeing some deeper lows and maybe some more storms with this but by contrast if we have a look at the ecmwf run which is by far today the coldest of the runs so we do run through it you can see high pressure building up towards scandinavia over the next couple of days, we do start pulling an easterly wind, and you look at those upper air temperatures, we're getting pretty chilly weather in for the weekend. But that's sort of round one. As the high pressure really gets going, we start to pull in bitterly cold air in from the east, and we do see those minus 10 line moves in, or at least close to moving in. And you can see towards the surface, that minus 8 line, getting that minus 10 line in as well, really quite cold, before we see low pressure run up from the south, introducing moisture and that could turn things potentially wintry uh, with heavy snowfall with that before things start to look a little bit milder with a bit more of a southerly wind but you can see that cold air wrapping around a very complex scenario and if we have a look at the uk look you can see big blocking uh, high pressure towards scandinavia so completely different to the gm and the gfs in terms of actually getting that really cold easterly in and you can see it there that easterly wind coming up against low pressure, where those weather fronts hit that cold air, we would be seeing snow. So, yeah, looks very interesting uh, from this. And you can see three models um, at only sort of like five to seven days out, still hugely contrasting. So we now have a look at the ensemble, see what they're showing, because of course they show all the different scenarios. If you have a look at the GFS ensembles, mild at the moment, and we do have a big cool down towards the weekend, down to minus 5 at Angel HPA. And then we have a temporary little uplift, as we see a bit of milder air wrap around that higher pressure, and then comes the uncertainty. Some stay around or above average, like the operational run, but then you can see maybe about half to a third of the ensemble members go much, much colder once again. That pull that in, pull that proper easterly back in. You can see the overall average of those ensemble members is a couple of degrees below the 1981-2010 mean. And in the long term, we generally stay around average. Of course, some of those ensemble, member, ensemble members keeping that high pressure around, others not. Um, and that will decide those air masses. Definitely in the longer term, there is a precipitation uh, signal increase. Um, so more going for that low pressure running in off the Atlantic. Could be a bit of a wintry breakdown if we do see that colder air in, or it could just be really quite wet and unsettled with that high pressure holding those weather fronts, making them move very slowly, dumping a lot of rain. So there is a, a vast range of, of outcomes here. Um, so yeah, it's so uncertain whenever we see these blocking high pressure systems. And yeah, even only sort of three, four, five days away from potentially seeing some really cold east sleeves, there is still a lot to play for, really. Um, I do think it will be resolved over the next day or two. But at this stage, as I'm recording this video, it's not 100% resolved. If we do have a look at the ECMWF ensembles, and interestingly, they are probably a bit colder than the GFS ensembles. Consistency going much colder around the 5th, 6th of March, i.e. this weekend, Sunday, Monday time. Then a brief uptick in upper air temperatures before quite a few, probably around a half, maybe more, go much colder once again, getting down to potentially minus 10 degrees at 850 HPA. The average is getting close to minus 5 degrees at 850 HPA, which would be cold enough for snow. So quite a few are still going cold. And it's really interesting to see only sort of six days out, that massive split in the ensemble members. You've got quite a few staying around freezing to 5 degrees at 850 HPA. Quite a few others, maybe around 10, going down to minus 10 degrees at 850 HPA, including the operational run. And of course, there are many in between that, but it just shows you six days away, we still have not got um, a definitive signal. There is potentially a 15 degree spread in upper air temperatures between the ensemble members at only five or six days away. So just shows you the uncertainty that there is. So we could be seeing some very mild runs coming out from the operational runs, and we could see some very cold runs because, of course, they can sit anywhere on the ensemble spectrum. So, yeah, very, very uncertain in the longer term, um, or even the midterm, really. Um, next three or four days, pretty sorted out with cold temperatures coming in this weekend. But as we head into the middle of next week, yes, there is so much uncertainty. We could be going two or three degrees with heavy snow in the east, or it could be wet and windy in from the west with 10 to 15 degree temperatures with uh, milder southwesterly so yeah a lot to play for if we do finally have a look at the uk metal first run have a look at precipitation and temperature now you can see 
Weather front's pushing in very slowly moving through over the course of this evening uh, and eventually clearing eastwards by around lunchtime tomorrow, but still lingering with some showers and cloud. And every Friday we see that weather front actually push back in as an easterly wind sort of shunts it back towards the country um, and eventually does clear away. And we go much drier with sunshine for many through Sunday and Monday. And we don't see too many wintry showers with this because it's more under the centre of the high, but it does go pretty cold, as we'll see in a minute. If you have a look at those max temperatures, you can see generally today temperatures not too bad in the east, 10, 11 degrees away from the precipitation, but only 7, 8 degrees under that precipitation, colder in a few spots. Overnight tonight, potentially a bit of a frost in the far west and the north, but elsewhere not nothing too bad on Friday afternoon, looking between 7 to 10 degrees around, or maybe slightly below average in a few spots, as we do start to put in some chillier air, but not cold air yet. Early hours of Saturday, much colder in the north and the west, with clearer skies. From any central areas hovering around 4 or 5 degrees with that cloud. Through Saturday evening into Sunday, temperatures drop once again in the north and west. And by Sunday in the afternoon, temperatures pretty chilly indeed. Widely, 4 5 degrees if you're lucky, maybe 7 or 8 where you're further westwards away from the colder air. So, some areas are going to be really cold. Remember, these are the 2 metre temperatures. Add on the easterly flow, wind chill more likely will feel around freezing, really cold for March. And if we move beyond that through Sunday evening into early hours of Monday, widespread frost under the clearer skies. And through Monday in the day, it's going to be cold once again, maybe four to eight degrees and freezing over the highlands of Scotland. And then Tuesday early hours, widespread frost. So it's turning much colder, but how cold it gets is still very uncertain. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.